You're right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to, you know, the ultimate road to glory. And I had quite possibly the worst start to the weekend league ever. We were 13 to 3 and for our standards right now for wanting to finish in top 100 monthly and elite one quite consistently, that is absolutely shocking. And it was my fault and the way I was playing. I was literally going into matches two to three minutes in and passing it straight to my opponent. Why did I do that? I didn't even think I did it. It was just mentally, I wasn't there ready. So I took a break, ate a couple of mince pies, jumped straight back in and went on a run of, I don't even know how many games we won. I was abusing my opponents. And I thought to myself, are we even gonna finish in Elite 3 at one stage? Then Elite 2 Dream was still alive and Elite 1, we finally finished it off. So I nearly choked the top 100 monthly for obviously this month. So if we take a look at, a, at the standings right now, top 100 monthly, we should be in 78th position. I wanna say 78th. We are in, yeah, 78th position on 138 wins. So if we can keep this up and have another week of 34 or 35 wins, that should see us finishing in the top 100 monthly. That is absolutely fantastic. So although this week we are gonna get the two team of the week packs again, the two 100Ks, or is it one 100K and 125,000 coins. That's still a very nice pack opening and will help the series. So if we can smash the likes guys, at 1,000 likes for today's episode would be awesome. And let's go take a look at this mystery pack. So yesterday everybody was waiting around to see if EA would dish out the free packs for Christmas. Yeah, we uh, we were kept waiting. We didn't get a free pack. We got a new SPC though, and it's the Footmas Mystery Pack Bundle. So we get a nice kit and also the mystery pack, which could be between 3,000 coins and a jumbo gold pack. So we could realistically get a 7.5k pack, a 5k pack. We're probably gonna get the 3,000 coins, which is not so bad. How much does it cost to actually complete it? Not really too much, it's just a little bit awkward as there are a load of nationalities needing to be included in this squad building challenge and I've used everybody from my own club. I didn't want to go on the market. Some of these bronze cards that I had initially that I was wanting to include were going up to 600, 700 coins and it's absolutely pointless when we can use a gold card that discards for 300. That's just my logic behind it. So going through, we've got everybody here who is first owner. The team itself looks a little bit of a mess. I'm sure you could do it another way. Well, there are a load of different ways that you could do it. 85 chemistry was the minimum. We hit it, 69 overall. There was no rating for that. Let's take a look to see what pack we're gonna get. So Footmus, Kit, and the mystery pack. What is the pack though? Please gonna have the 15K. Be nice to me. Is it gonna show us right now? All right, we're gonna have to go to the store and open it. Let's do it. Guarantees one item ranging from a two players pack to a jumbo gold pack. So they haven't even told us what it is yet. So we're gonna open it. It is a real surprise. Come on EA, give me that 15K pack and let's go. Come on, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let's go. One gold pack. So we did get the gold pack. One of the most overpowered players on the game, on the cover, Martial. Let's pop it open. A 5K pack isn't really gonna be the best. Full of non-rares. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know? Can we get any consumables? Healing. Healing. That's not that bad, actually. Healing cards usually go for 800 to 900 coins. You can even sell them for a thousand. Oh, yeah. You can even sell them for a thousand, I was about to say. So, yeah. They do sell for around there, which is a fantastic. Leg healing. That's not a bad pack and even the player contracts so the route we're going down for today's team is going to be the premier league i wanted to try out some of the other monthly reward cards that we had at the club and this man right here adam lalana 84 rated we sold two of them on for 68,000 coins bought him back for 45,250, and his stats actually look really nice good dribbling good passing five star weak foot and four star skill moves i wanted to try pedro as well just because he has that five star weak foot four star skill and I think that card's going to perform, which I'm excited about. We've got Roberto Firmino that sees himself back into the side. He's just amazing. Harry Kane, though. This striker, Harry Kane. His non-inform was terrible. And if this 86 card lets me down, then I'm going to be using him in a future SPC. As he's untradeable, that will bring up the rating with him being 86. And yeah, why not? Because I'll never use him again. We've got Martial in that left wing position. Kante, Clichy, Smalling, Cabaselli, Nathaniel Klein, and Bravo in goal. I've only used the non-informed Bravo, and he was actually solid. So this 86 card could be awesome. I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the weekend league team with uh, Laurent Blanc that we made the signing of. 800,000 coins. He's now dropped to 750. 
and I'm never gonna I don't I wouldn't say I'm never gonna sell him but I don't think I'm gonna sell him for a long time 800,000 coins he is worth every single coin honestly the best defender I have ever used on any single FIFA seriously good for an 89 rated card he feels like 99 the tackles that he puts in his positioning He's amazing. He is honestly unstoppable. And George Best, he finished on 81 games, 70 goals, and 34 assists. He's good. I love George Best. I want to get Ronaldo, though, eventually. We'll have to see. So this is the team. We need to put some player instructions on the side. Uh, the custom tactics you guys would have already known. So player instructions. We've got to get in behind. Uh, even, oh, sorry, not cut inside. I hate when it does that because I usually I think it's the second one down. So let's tell Pedro to get in behind. We've got Kante. We're not going to tell him to stay back while attacking this is going to be pretty attacking i can see already so we're ready for the game in division one let's get it first game guys and we are facing a really weird hybrid for division one it's it's interesting see the problem with harry kane is he's so goddamn slow oh uh, i i shouldn't have used harry kane maybe i've got a sub on the bench i might bring somebody else on i was looking for that rever reverse through ball though whoa what a strike from Martial. The ball through didn't work. The rebounds, though, it's still dangerous when Martial's about. Over to Harry Kane, the slug, the train. Harry Kane, the train. What am I even talking about? Oh, what a save from Cadius. That really should have gone in. Halftime, guys, and we are 1-0 up in this game. I feel really comfortable. We should be 2-0 up, though, with that Roberto Firmino miss. Good challenge from Klein. Oh, are you kidding me? Good set. Ooh, that's what Smalling can do. In the middle. Wait for it. Go on, Martial. Martial has been the best player in this team. It's just crazy, to be honest. Lay that across. Roberto Firmino. Love it. I absolutely love it. I knew he would come up big with a goal. 2 0, 82nd minute. We have won the game, surely. Full time it is, and I always struggle against the 4 4 2 and the 4 3 3. He had some weird custom tactics where the team was so narrow, and in the 4 4 2, it was basically everybody getting boxed up right in the center. Difficult to break down. Uh, a nice 2 0 win, though. So, my first impressions of this team is that it was playing all right. There is definitely room for improvement, and with Harry. Harry Kane striker, he's just letting the team down for me. He doesn't even feel that strong. He was getting bullied. His dribbling isn't great as you would expect him being a target man. He just doesn't feel that good for an 86 rated card. So personally, I would drop him, but I'm going to stick to my word. Try out the team. Pedro felt a little weak. Lallana was good. Firmino and Martial, the two goal scorers in that game. And, well, Martial I play in the weekend league. And Roberto Firmino, I'd love to bring in eventually to the side because he is honestly so good on this game really do recommend trying him out we're ready for the second game though yeah energy levels aren't that good i've got musa on the bench just in case we need to bring him on for harry kane in the second half if that's if we're losing i'm still going to use harry kane though i doubt we're going to be facing another weird hybrid no we're not it's a full psg sorry correction it's not a full psg team he has diara other than that it's full psg oh no and like is it we've got pedro Martial, what a reverse through. Oh, to Kante, and I should have done a lot better. I rushed my shot. I took it with the left foot. Should have maybe taken another touch and smacked it on with the right. Pedro. And again, good play. Hit him with the Berber spin. That didn't work. Let's come out to Roberto Firmino. Oh, my God. What a shot. I've never hit... A finesse like that the power and the accuracy he got behind that strike i've never hit a finesse as sweet as that i'm actually in love with firmino's card i'm thinking right now i'm gonna bring him into the weekend league <laughs> seriously oh this is beautiful and martial poor finishing really poor finishing from me if he brings this back to 1-1 i just have myself to blame really because we've wasted three chance well no i say we've wasted two really good chances in this game Oh, Martial nearly had him. Oh, Martial did have him. Through ball. Martial with the finesse. Oh, Harry Kane, he, he just doesn't have the pace to get onto that. So, someone like Musa on the bench in that situation, he would have latched onto that ball and it probably would have been 2-0. Wasted opportunities in Division 1. It's just not good enough. We should be 3-0 in front and he could easily go on and get a goal. It's, it's scary. He's defending all right. 
No, that ball's just been played in behind of me. What a goal from Lacazette. You cannot give him just that opening to get the shot away. And that's where he caught me, that through ball. It was well-timed, the ball across. I'm surprised actually Clichy didn't get an interception on that. Good from Lalana. At least he can do a little bit of the defending work, although he does have high attacking work rates. I thought that ball was going to go straight to me. We've got some fantastic pressure here. And what a ball through to Harry Kane. And that's where you want him, just inside the box. Don't do anything else. Just put the ball in the back of your net. If he gets a chance, I believe he's going to score. It's just trying to maneuver him and work him into the play, which is difficult. As long as we can keep him under pressure, I think he's going to start rushing his play. Ben Arthur, though. You're not going to get past Smalling with that. And Harry Kane again. Oh, it's gone to the wrong player. I hate those, but it's worked out really well. Martial. Yes. I do hate those, though, where you really are intending to play the ball towards the right-hand side to basically your secondary striker. And then it goes through to the first one. And it's, and it's a baby chip. Should we try Should we try Lalana long shot? I'm trying it. Lalana long shot. This episode today, we have two Liverpool players that have scored bangers. Roberto Firmino and now Adam Lallana. That was a cracker. If you want to watch replays, you watch them for this. How has that gone? That is perfect. He has raised it. So I had a team sent in not so long ago from one of you guys, and you were playing Adam Lallana as the cam. I gave it a go, the non-inform Adam Lallana, and his pace and shooting was lacking. With this inform card, I'm noticing in this team, dribbling, link-up play, fantastic. His pace is still... Mm, it's, he's not lightning quick he d doesn't feel that slow though and he's shooting well that could have been a lucky long shot I'm not so sure though that was an accurate strike from range 45,250 I think that's a good purchase five star week for four star skills he's playing really well and Harry Kane although he scored in the last game he's still a slug we don't like Harry Kane right now we're ready for the third and final game what are the energy levels looking like oh do we risk it 86 do we risk it yeah let's risk it Let's go into the last game. Let's see, guys, if we can finish off on a win. <laughs> on a win. With a 5-3-2 team. It's going to be difficult. That is very sweaty. Is he going to pace this down the line? Th thought so. I need to switch. The oh, he wouldn't let me switch. He still won't let me switch to, um, to Adam Lalana. I don't understand that. Sometimes you feel like you can always get the correct player. <sighs> Oh no, that was just my fault. What have I done? What have I actually done? Oh dear, what a ball. What a goal. That was a fantastic shot from Gundogan. It is half time. We're changing things around. Harry Kane is coming off because, yeah, he's awful. Musa coming on. I'm hoping that this does the trick. We've got a good flow. There we go. That's a good ball across to Martial. He's going to take me out in the middle. Around the corner. That's good. Musa. What? I don't really understand. I just don't understand that, to be honest. What happened? Especially when you've got like Jamie Vardy and those players in your team. Here we, we need to catch him. There we go. Musa's through. And this is where we didn't have the threat from um, Harry Kane. My finish. It's just my finishing. And that's twice in the game where Musa really, he should have shot before and he just didn't take the strike. That could have been 2-1 there. And that goal, that's 2-2. Two -two. But it's just, it's, it's my fault. And this is what was happening in the weekend league as well. I need to get it out of my game. That's a lovely ball. Oh, I... Well done, Musa. Turn him. Oh, I got lucky. I'll be honest. I did get lucky there. Musa across once again. Wow. Like Jack Butland. I can't even be mad because I haven't played well at all. My finishing is just terrible. Full time in that game. And it's a loss. I can't even be mad. My finishing just was not up to scratch. I deserve to lose because of how bad my finishing was. That's not good enough. I need to stop this. I actually need to get the consistency back to my game. It's not good. Uh, Harry Kane, though, I just want to say he sucks. I don't like him at all. Get him out. Other than that, the team actually played really well. Roberto Firmino, Lalana, and also Martial, three of the best players in the team. I would definitely recommend trying out Lalana. In the first two games, he was awesome. The last game, well, that was just my fault. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Drop a like on the video. Let me know how you got on in the weekend league, and I'll see you very soon. Team out. Whoops.